Firestone Firestone Wildlife Management Area is a rugged piece of property. It's also a good place to find bats. We are looking for Indiana bats. Indiana bats are an endangered species, have been listed since 1973 when the Endangered Species Act first started. I always like to classify bats in three ways. You've got strictly cave obligate bats, you've got bats that use caves and trees, and then you've got bats that are just forest bats, just use trees. So Indiana bats are one of those that a lot of people assume use caves throughout the year. Um, they spend the winter in caves and then they spend the summer out in the forest. So it depends on both types of habitat for them to survive. So what's in the bag? The bag right here is full of Indiana bats, females. Every animal in Tennessee has a place in the ecosystem that it fits into and bats are no exception. I mean, bats sort of fall into that creepy crawly category like snakes and spiders and things of that nature. And it can be hard to get people on board with the idea of the value of bats and the importance of bats on our landscape. This transmitter emits a, a frequency and then we have telemetry receivers that we can use in a plane or in the vehicle and it has about a two mile range. So the bat is 6.8. You want to trim a little bit of fur from between the uh, shoulder blades. So we want the transmitter and the glue stuck directly to the skin, not the fur. And then you put a little glue on the transmitter and the bat, wait five minutes, put the transmitter on the bat. Yeah. Wait another five minutes, and then the bat is ready to go. The glue is a surgical cement, so it's made for this, and uh, it, it breaks down over time, so the glue will typically last uh, about 21 days, and then the transmitter will fall off, and the fur will grow back, and, and you'll never know a difference here in a month or so. In years past, We've done work like gating caves to try to protect their winter habitat has been the primary work for multiple endangered bat species in the past. Mm -hmm. But now with this technology of using transmitters as small and tracking these, we can hopefully protect their summer habitat as well, and not just the winter habitat in the caves. For their size, uh, you know, bats have incredible impacts on our environment. Just in that insectivorous activity, I mean, they're eating millions of insects, and the insects that they sort of prefer and, and really hone in on are things, mostly beetles and moths, and things that tend to be both agricultural pests and forest pests. Uh, so they do play a critical role in our environment, and that's why we put so much effort into saving our bat. We have been successful in tracking female Indiana bats to multiple states. And so we have multiple partners we're working with again this year. The goal of this year's project is to hopefully track these female Indiana bats to Middle Tennessee. And so we can fly over the landscape and try to get a beep and then come back with the vehicle and get closer and then triangulate that signal, if you will, and then uh, take a smaller three element Yagi antenna and walk to that beat. What we're gonna to do tonight is we're gonna count the bats coming out of the tree uh, right at sunset, just to get an idea of how many bats are using this tree. And you know, I think this is the first time we've ever had a hackberry tree as a, as a roost tree, but you know, the bark's just sloughing right off. It seems like it's not the tree species that matters as much as the characteristic of the bark. They like the trees that when they die, that bark really sloughs off and it leaves a nice little space for them to crawl up in. These maternity trees are in very specific places throughout Tennessee and, and other states. Um, and they are actually one of the, the platforms or the foundations for this population. So if we can find these maternity colonies, which contain sometimes between a dozen or, or over a hundred and something uh, female Indiana bats, then we can protect that tree or we can mitigate areas around it that uh, will have suitable roost for them in the future.